Well, it's been a few days. Time gets away from you. It's been uh, really rainy here. Kind of cold, but not too bad. The uh, stainless tank finally sold. Yep. Guy finally seen it on Craigslist and made me an offer I couldn't refuse. Came and got that thing out of here. A couple of bites on these old uh, antique fire hydrants. Been uh, going back and forth trying to decide what to do with this uh, 87 Dodge Raider. Just uh, been fiddling around with the plow a little bit. It's weird. You hit the lever inside, you can hear the motor turning, but it doesn't uh, doesn't seem like it's pumping to the you know to the hydraulics. It's not doing anything. It doesn't move at all. So, forty-four thousand miles. See if I can sell the whole thing. Somebody wants it for the plow, or uh, <clears throat> you know, possible yard machine. Do a little work to it. Yeah, gotta try to hustle everything I can because, uh, as I said before, the price of scrap is just uh, it's almost not even worth doing it. So, gotta do what you can and uh, try to get you know a little more than uh, just bringing it into the yard. I mean, this thing right here, as it sits. This uh, would barely bring probably 75 bucks, if that. I mean, it doesn't stand me anything, really, but it's kind of ridiculous <clears throat> to just take that much. You know, same thing with stuff like that and, you know, that tank and just... Uh, Well, I uh, finally had someone interested in the one snowblower there. The, uh, since I got it, I was moving it around. I, one time I decided I was going to save it. And I, I drove it in the shed. Then I brought it back out. Decided to put it up for sale. And the uh, cable broke for the uh, augers. And then uh, I put it for sale just like that. And the guy, we made a deal, the guy showed up to get it, and I uh, went to drive it up on his ramps on his truck, and the uh, the whole thing was just uh, slipping underneath. Didn't even want to drive the wheels, so we ended up uh, giving it to him for 50 bucks, uh, just for parts. So, but, like I said, it's more than scrap. And uh, this old dinosaur here, this thing, believe it or not, this was stored in a dry basement and uh, gas was drained out. I, I pulled this thing twice, it fired right up. It's loud as hell, but it runs good. And it works. It, it drives, it <clears throat> the auger turns and all that, so I got it up for sale. Uh, too good to scrap, you know. Oh yeah, A little Dodge Ram 50. Fell in love with it. Put it in the back. Figure it doesn't stand me much money. So I was gonna wait and. Uh, 
mess with it at a later time, but uh, I couldn't stay away. Came out the other day and uh, slapped a battery in it. And it's weird. The uh, video I made there where I was, uh, where I took it on its first drive, I mean, it was, uh, it was locked in four-wheel drive, which I didn't know. Um, so that's why it was a little bit sluggish. It was kind of binding up when you turn the wheels, but, um, you know, it, it didn't want to idle too good with the bad gas, but, I mean, it ran pretty smooth once you were, uh, above idle. And, uh, all I did was drive it in here, back it right up there, and that was it. So, come out the other day, put a battery in it, I go to start it, and, uh, it just cranks over like it's... I don't know, like, it's got no compression or something. It's It acts like something that would have a blown head gasket that you were trying to start. And I finally did get it to fire over, but it's skipping and uh, it just don't want to run. So I don't know what happened. It's kind of weird. It's, uh, you know, it was running pretty decent. And uh, now it don't want to run at all. So, can sit right there. Well, on a better note, the uh, 99 GMC, destined, it was destined for the scrapyard. They deemed it junk, bad transmission, no good. Oh. Swap the transfer case in, and a uh, couple pads on the rear, and a uh, brake hose in the front, and uh, she's a great truck. She's noisy, noisy snow tires. <clears throat> yep, it's been good so far. Funny, my uh, wife actually said that it rides better, she thought, than the uh, the 01 blue truck. Well, despite the uh, low scrap prices, uh, still get calls pick stuff up so you gotta keep going the way I've been doing it is uh, just go down there and uh, weigh in myself and just make a list and kinda I figure if I do a few loads and then uh, go get paid at the end of the week and he adds everything up then it seems like I <laughs> got a little more but I don't know it's just kind of a stupid thing that I do but uh, doesn't look like there's uh, too much heavy stuff in there just a few stoves and stuff but um, underneath all this crap I don't know if you can see but I picked up some killer number one steel from uh, from a house there's also a uh, a whole Dodge V8 in there, transmission, and uh, this hydraulic cylinder from a big uh, dump truck. I, I mean, we could barely get it to roll on the uh, back of the trailer, and in there, um, I couldn't even slide it on the greasy trailer myself. That's how heavy it is. So, you know, you kind of get excited still. I mean, I do. When I get stuff like that, you get that, you know, you still get, oh yeah, look at that, you know, I got that, I scored that, and then it's like you get excited about it, and then you think about the prices and what you're going to get, and it's kind of a letdown. Took in a Ford Ranger the other day. 
it was just a freebie, thankfully. And uh, lady just uh, walking down the street saw me standing here talking to myself. Thinks I'm nuts. But yeah, Ford Ranger. Was all excited because uh, those got like three or four cats on them, you know, with the V6. And uh, get there. Not only was there no engine block in it, there was no cats, no battery. So, yeah, probably uh, 60 bucks if I'm lucky when I get paid for that. I just brought it right to the yard and dropped it and just pushed it right off. Nothing good on it. A few random pieces of number one in here. Oh, I got that uh, snap-on uh, jack working. Works nice. Well, figured I'd uh, give you guys a little update, and uh, that's about it for now. Do appreciate you watching, like always, and uh, let me know uh, what you think about stuff. Yeah, I like the comments, um, but. As always, you know, um, make sure you, uh, you know, you're always checking because you never know. I could see you on the streets. <laughs>